Hello Cancer, so Moon Rising and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. We're going to see how the both of you are currently viewing this relationship and how you guys feel about it and what actions you guys plan on taking each other's direction and or moving forward. Just keep in mind, Cancer, that we are working with energy. So you might find yourself resonating with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay, sometimes that actually does happen. So just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. But with all that being said, Cancer, let's get started. Let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship how does cancer currently view this relation okay well so far so good we do have the emperor out here as well as the empress making it a true pair situation here between you and this person so you're definitely connecting with somebody currently at the moment uh, that you're very compatible with but we also have the fool out here this person that you currently find yourself connecting with I do feel like this is somebody that you currently find yourself falling for. This could definitely represent somebody fairly new that you just recently met. Now, keep in mind, we are working with time and time is fluid. So for some of you, you may have already met this person. And for others of you, you might find yourself meeting this person very soon. But for those of you who currently find yourself connecting with this person, yeah, this is somebody that I do see you falling for. Yeah, I do see you definitely falling for this person. You definitely view this person as somebody that you're very compatible with, somebody that you mesh very well with, uh, somebody who definitely has a lot that you're looking for within a person. So, so far, so good, Cancer. Let's look at this person, though. Let's see how they're currently viewing this relationship that they share with you. How does this person currently view this relationship? share with cancer Ooh, nice okay so for those of you who don't know this the person that's actually in the chariot is the emperor so double confirmation you currently find yourself connecting with an emperor uh, but we also have the star as well as the uh king of cups i do feel like the feeling is essentially mutual as far as like the two of you falling for one another is concerned i feel like this is somebody that you're developing a lot of emotions for but you're not the only person that's developing emotions here you're definitely connecting with somebody who's also developing a lot of emotions for you there's an overall energy of your person essentially feeling really really strongly that you could very well just be the one for them um is basically what i'm getting so so far so good you guys um also too another thing that i am definitely getting is like a, a little bit of a clingy energy coming from this person which is not necessarily a bad thing um i do feel like this person really does enjoy being around you this is somebody who feels very drawn to you and your overall energy and like i said they really do feel really good in your presence so this is somebody who does come off to me as somebody who is either currently clingy off of you in this connection that they share with you or they're going to find themselves becoming very clingy off of you in this connection that they share with you which like i said not necessarily a bad thing just feel like this is somebody who really does love being around you how does cancer currently feel about this connection okay i like this i like this a lot you guys Okay, so we have the Three of Cups as well as the Six of Cups, and then we also have the Knight of Cups. Okay. This connection for you, Cancer, might make you feel like you've known this person your whole entire life, even though technically speaking, um, you don't, okay? So this connection right off the bat is making you feel very, very comfortable, um, which is something that I really, really do like to see. Now with the Knight of Cups to the Three of Cups coming out here, I feel like there's a lot of people around you that are extremely happy for you, like family members and friends. You could have told your family members and friends um, about this person that you currently find yourself connecting with, and I feel like these people are really really happy for you that's another thing that i'm definitely getting but this connection also too does come off to me as like a connection that's growing at a very very rapid pace okay um which again not necessarily a bad thing but i couldn't help but to notice how fast this connection's actually growing um between you and this person with the six of cups coming out here you know there's a possibility cancer that you could have shared many past lives with this person hence why you feel so comfortable with this person hence why you feel like you've known this person your whole entire life even though technically speaking you have it but let's see how they're currently wow that's crazy look at that we have the six of cups here at the bottom of the deck uh so that's kind of telling me that the feeling is essentially mutual the both of you feel very comfortable with one another the both of you feel like you guys have known each other uh for a very very long time even though you guys technically speaking haven't known each other for a very long time how does this person currently feel about this relationship so we do have the seven of swords we also have the queen of wands over here huh 
with the hair font. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we do have the um, Six of Cups. We also have the Eight of Swords with the Eight of Cups. And then we also have the Queen of Cups. True pair situation here between you and this person. Yet again, we do have the King and the Queen of Cups out here. Hmm. You know what's really throwing me off is this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands doesn't necessarily feel like you, nor does it feel... Um, like your person's energy either whoever this queen of wands is it's somebody who's definitely currently in their life is kind of what i'm getting um i just feel like these two are not on the same page with one another you know this to me kind of feels like one person wants something serious and the other party doesn't is kind of what i'm getting which i'm kind of inclined to say that it's your person that doesn't foresee themselves having anything serious with this um queen of wands this is not somebody that they see themselves running off into the sunset with getting married to settling down with like i said these these two come off to me as two people who are clearly not on the same page um, as one another is, is basically what I'm getting, okay? There is an overall energy of your person essentially feeling like they have to get rid. Yeah, there's like an overall energy of them essentially feeling like they have to get rid of this Queen of Wands. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that now they currently find themselves romantically um, involved with you. But what's interesting is that I feel like they already kind of made the attempt to try to get rid of this Queen of Wands. But it kind of looks like this, this Queen of Wands more than likely is kind of putting up a fight because there's like an overall energy of them essentially feeling stuck. Um, is like the best way that I can describe what it is I'm seeing here. But they're not technically speaking stuck. I just kind of feel like this Queen of Wands, because they're putting up a fight and because they're more than likely trying to guilt trip your person, it's causing them to essentially feel stuck um, in the situation that they currently find themselves in. But technically speaking, they're not stuck. I just kind of feel like your person is a type of person... Um, yeah, your person is the type of person that has like this tendency of like feeling bad for people, um, which I don't necessarily feel like it's a bad trait to have. But because your person is the type of person that finds themselves instantly feeling bad for people, this is that type of person that doesn't like to hurt people's feelings. I'm also kind of getting that as well. So the fact that they're trying to kind of get rid of this Queen of Wands, they obviously do feel bad. Um because they're trying to get rid of them and they and they kind of know roughly how this queen of wands feels about them and what it is that they want with them but at the same exact time it's like they just don't foresee themselves having a future here with them so they kind of feel like they kind of have no other choice but to kind of like get rid of them especially because now they finally met someone that they can totally see themselves settling down with building towards a life with i want to look a little bit more into this situation though tell me more about this um oh jesus We have the Knight of Cups. We got the Devil. This this connection that this King of Cups that you now currently find yourself connecting with and this Queen of Wands over here, it feels so freaking forced. It's not even funny. Again, I feel like this Queen of Wands is trying to force um, a relationship upon this King of Cups. And this King of Cups, again, just simply doesn't foresee themselves being in a relationship with this person. Not only that, but these two are not even compatible to one another. They're not even showing up as a true pair to one another. I'm also kind of getting that um, as well, that they're definitely not compatible to one another. They definitely don't mesh well with one another. These two come off to me as like um, two polar opposite individuals here. You know, they don't have anything in common. They don't really mesh well with one another whatsoever. But yeah, I feel like this Queen of Wands has been trying to force a relationship to come out of this entire situation between these two. But I feel like this King is just not, you know, like they're just not feeling it, to be completely honest. Um, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Okay. Yeah. E. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Let's just be honest, okay? I feel like um, your person kind of knew very early on throughout the course of their involvement here with this Queen of Wands that this is 
definitely not somebody that they see themselves settling down with and or building towards a life with. Um, and I feel like deep down inside, they just knew that this wasn't the one for them. Um, but it kind of looks like they decided to kind of keep them around for their own um, benefit um, is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. I feel like these two more than likely had like a friends with benefits sort of situation going on. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, but again, I just kind of feel like your, your, your king kind of knew uh, right off the bat. This is just not somebody that they see themselves being in a relationship with. But, you know, for their own benefit, they chose to kind of keep them around until they found like, you know, the perfect person for them, a.k.a you um it's basically what i'm getting okay now with all of that being said um double confirmation that this person that you currently find yourself connecting with will be bringing this entire situation to an end um i don't feel like there's much that this queen of wands can say and or do that's going to cause this person to change their mind to be completely honest i feel like this person's mind is made up as far as they're concerned you're the one for them as far as they're concerned you're the one that they want to be with you're the one that they want to build with and it's definitely not this queen of wands that has been trying to push for something serious to transpire between these two so with that being said Granted, do they feel bad that they're having to, you know, walk away from this person because they know how this person feels about them, what they want with them? Absolutely. But it is kind of stemming from a place of not wanting to entertain two people at the same exact time. And it's also coming from a place of not wanting to self-sabotage a really good opportunity with you over someone that they just really do not see themselves being in a relationship with. Um, so they do feel bad. They do feel bad. But... They're kind of looking at the situation like, yeah, I feel bad, but they'll get over it. Yeah, I feel bad, but they'll they'll find somebody else. It's kind of stemming from that type of place. Uh, what actions will this person take towards cancer moving forward? Okay. All right. So we do have the two of swords. We also have the hangman. And then we also have the six of pentacles. Oh, Lord. With the devil to the, uh, yeah, your person your person comes off to me as somebody who's very prone to getting easily guilt trip is kind of what I'm getting. Um, because this queen of wands is guilt trip being the hell out of them. Um, they're trying their hardest to kind of like let them down gently, you know, by probably telling them, listen, like, I think you're a really great person. I just, I just don't think that this this is going to work out. I feel like you deserve somebody better than me. But I kind of feel like because they keep experiencing a level of pushback from this Queen of Wands, there's going to come a point in time where I do see your person kind of snapping on them um, and being really mean to them and really rude with them. Um, and it's mainly because they try to take the whole gentle approach, like let me let them down gently. But the fact that they're kind of experiencing a level of pushback from this Queen of Wands, it's going to really dry hump their last nerve to the point where, yes, I do see this person kind of snapping on them like listen like I don't want to be with you just please like respect how I feel um I just kind of feel like again your your person is the type of person that does unfortunately get easily guilt tripped and this is not the type of person that you know intentionally means to hurt absolutely anyone so the fact that they feel um you know like shit to be completely honest uh for having to sever ties here with them because they finally met the perfect person for them aka you like they genuinely do feel that you know they they really do and that's why they're trying to take this whole gentle approach but once they see that this whole gentle approach and let me let them down gently is not necessarily working nor is it influencing this this queen wants to just simply respect how they feel it kind of looks like they will um unfortunately snap on them all right what actions does this person plan on taking towards cancer Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, we got the Ten of Pentacles, we also have the Seven of Cups, so the Seven of Swords, and then we also have the um, Five of Pentacles. This person, Cancer, is going to be investing a lot of time and energy towards you in the relationship um, that they want with you. But one thing that I am definitely getting primarily is that they basically look at you like you're the perfect person for them. Like there's absolutely nothing that this person would essentially change about you and this connection that they share with you because they genuinely do view you and this relationship that they share with you as a perfect relationship. Um, and for them, 
to put themselves in a predicament to potentially lose you and this perfect connection that they share with you and this perfect relationship that they share with you is just not something that this person is essentially willing to do. Um, so with that being said, um, I do feel like once they finally get rid of this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Wands finally moves on with their life and finally stops calling them and finally stops blowing up their phone and finally stops looking for them, I feel like they're going to have a little bit more peace of mind. But because this Queen of Wands is like very like, don't leave me, don't go anywhere. What are you talking about? You're done with me. What are you talking about? I deserve better. Like, no, don't go anywhere. Like, because they're kind of experiencing that with this Queen of Wands, it does kind of have them a little bit on edge, right? Because again, it's like they just don't want to put themselves in that predicament to self-sabotage a really good thing here that they got going uh, with you and them. And they genuinely do kind of feel like by you ever finding out that they clearly have a queen of wands here in their life that really wants to be with them, but they just don't really want to be with, you know, this queen of wands and this queen of wands continues to like pine after them. Like they're really afraid that that could cause them to lose you in the end. They're really afraid that that could definitely turn you off and not want, you know, anything to do with this individual in particular. But I feel like this person will have a little bit more peace of mind once this queen of wands officially stops calling them, stops blowing up their phone, stops looking for them. They'll have a little bit more peace of mind but right now they just don't got it they don't have any sort of peace of mind within this dynamic that they share with you and it has nothing to do with what you're doing on your end or anything like that or this relationship that you guys share with one another it has everything to do with the simple fact that they have a queen of wands that just refuses to respect how they feel and because they refuse to accept how they feel they're constantly blowing them up they're constantly looking for them they're constantly obsessing over them what they want with them and they kind of feel like in a way that's a little bit of a bad not even a little bit of a bad look they kind of feel like that's a really like a really really bad look for them um, because who knows how you're going to respond and react to it. Maybe you might be extremely understanding or maybe you might look at the whole situation and be like, yeah, no, I don't want to deal with that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. You know, um, so I do feel like they're definitely going to keep all of this a secret from you um, for the reasons why I already basically mentioned. Um, but let's see what actions you plan on taking in their direction and are moving forward. What actions... Will cancer take towards this person or moving forward? I like this. I feel like this connection between you and this person, it's going to be bringing a lot of happiness and a lot of joy into your life. Also, a lot of excitement, especially with the Ace of Wands coming out here. And with the star coming out here, the feeling is essentially mutual. Just like this person feels very, very strongly like you're the one for them, you're going to eventually find yourself feeling like, okay, like this one over here is the one for me. I feel like this person is going to realize you're the one for them um, a lot sooner than you are. I do see you essentially realizing um in the near future like okay this is the perfect person for me um i am definitely getting that strongly and i also feel like the two of you are going to end up in a relationship with one another i want to see what's going to happen with this queen of wands what's going to happen with this queen of wands over here oh, man <sighs> double confirmation that things are coming to an end here um between these two Okay, this is not somebody who's going to sit up here and entertain you and this Queen of Wands at the same exact time. It kind of looks like, it kind of looks like what's really going on here is that they're involved with this Queen of Wands here, or let me say it like this, they've been involved with this Queen of Wands prior to even meeting you. Um, but it kind of looks like even though they've been involved with this Queen of Wands prior to meeting you, they still kind of kept their options open. Technically speaking, um, this person is single. They're free to do whatever it is that they want. They could explore their options that they want to, even while having this Queen of Wands in their life, because there is no actual commitment here going on between these two whatsoever. I feel like the Queen of Wands has been wanting, you know, things to progress and get serious here between these two. But I feel like your king has been like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so as they've been keeping their options open, you know, dating, you know, a few people here and there, getting to know people, you know, here and there, they finally met you. And the moment that they met you, everything absolutely changed for this person in particular. And because everything absolutely changed for this person in particular, they're definitely making sure to sever ties here with this Queen of Wands because they don't want to continue to pursue you in a relationship with you while having this person around. Um, so it kind of looks like, you know, this Queen, yeah, they're going to put up a fight. 
Um, you know, this king is going to experience a level of pushback from this person. This queen is not going to sit here and respect how this person feels, which I do feel like it's going to lead to like a really big fight, a really big argument between these two. I feel like your king is going to snap on this person and get really, um, stern um and a little bit aggressive with their delivery as far as like communicating to them like look i'm done like you need to go your way i'm gonna go my way please stop leave me alone um i do feel like for this queen of wands this is going to be a massive blow to the chest for them um it is unfortunately it's going to be a massive blow to the chest here um for this Queen of Wands, this is kind of telling me that eventually this Queen of Wands will get the message. Eventually, this this Queen of Wands will leave this person alone, and eventually, this Queen of Wands will stop putting up a fight. But yeah, this this ending here for them, it for sure, for sure is going to be a massive um, blow to the chest because you know this Queen of Wands really did want to be with this King uh, that you currently find yourself connecting with. Okay, uh, they really, really did, and the fact that obviously they're not going to end up getting what it is that they wanted in the end. Um, you know, with this king, it's it's kind of heartbreaking, I would say, uh, for them. Let's see what the romance angels have to say, and then we'll wrap this up. For Cancer, Sun, Rising, and Venus in regards to this spread. I feel bad for the Queen of Wands. Okay, so we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you were guided to take. And then we also have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. At the bottom of the deck, we do have this could be the one. And then we also have trust. So in regards to this overall energy that's coming out here for you, um, Cancer, don't, if you do end up finding out, okay, about this Queen of Wands, don't allow that to cause you to shy away from this person or this connection. Um, I genuinely feel like that's how all of this is kind of playing out um, within this dynamic that you guys share with one another. I genuinely feel like this, this king was involved with this queen of wands way before you even came along. Um, but I also feel like they were exploring their options while even having this queen of wands in their life because there was no actual commitment there. But if you do end up finding out through your person, like, hey, I got a crazy girl that just refuses to leave me alone or a crazy dude that refuses to leave me alone. Don't let it influence you to shy away from this relationship. Then again, you are showing up as an empress. And an empress is somebody who typically likes to live a life of peace. Um, so with that being said, Yes, you may not like the fact that this person has like, uh, you know, this person that's extremely obsessive over them and really, really wants to be with them. You may not like that because of the drama that it could potentially bring into your life. I don't feel like it's going to bring any sort of drama into your life. I feel like it's going to bring drama into their life. Um, but I don't feel like it's going to bring drama into your life, nor do I feel like, um, this queen of wands is going to continue to pine after your person. Um, because there's going to come a point in time where this queen of wands is going to realize like, okay, like I should just give up because I'm not getting absolutely anywhere with this person. So if you do ever find out from your person that they do have a queen of wands pining after them, don't get discouraged. Don't shy away from this relationship. I don't believe that your person is going to continue to entertain this person now that they met you. And I say that confidently. Um, so just continue to proceed forward. Don't let this, you know, discourage you whatsoever. Like genuinely give this person, this relationship a fair chance. Um, but also understand that they can't really control, you know, what other people do. They really, really can't. You know, I feel like they're trying to be nice about it and just kind of let them down gently. But the fact that this, this one over here just refuses to respect how they feel that's what's going to really prompt this person to really snap on this individual um and not play nice with them anymore um but i feel like they will eventually get the message across with this could be the one in trust i think that it's safe to say cancer that you finally met the one and i feel like it's safe to say that this person finally met the one with you so with that being said this relationship is genuinely going places. I do feel like this is going to be more than likely your next serious relationship because we keep getting cards insinuating that the two of you will end up in a relationship uh, with one another. I am definitely getting that strongly, okay? So with all that being said, Cancer, hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.